In this short video, we're going to look at the GeoMap app digitizer tool. The digitizing tool in GeoMap app allows the global multi-resolution topographic synthesis elevation model that forms the base map in GeoMap app to be digitized. The digitizer is activated by clicking the XYZ button in the toolbar here. Once clicked, the grid that underlies the elevation model for the base map is loaded. The grid has loaded, so let's move this window out of the way. Here we see the digitizer tool interface. On the right we have the control buttons, and beneath the map we have the space where the digitized points, the interpolated points, and the profile will appear. To start digitizing, we click the Start Digitizing button that's shown in green in the right panel and that changes the cursor to some crosshairs and we digitize by simply clicking on the map like this. To stop digitizing we can double click on the last point or click on the Stop Digitizing button in the right. To double click the last point we simply do that and here we have the digitized segment. Beneath the map, we have the list of digitized points, longitude, latitude, and the elevation that is derived from the global multi-resolution topographic synthesis elevation map model. We can look at the interpolated points by clicking the radio button on the right, and look at the profile that was generated between the digitized points by clicking the draw profile button. Let's go back to the digitized points. The digitized points can be saved by clicking the save button at the bottom and here we see the option to save the points as an ASCII table. The table also captures the interpolated points as well. If we want to save the profile we need to click draw profile and once the profile is in view then when we click the save button we see that the save profile options are also now available and we can save the profile as JPEG or PNG format. So returning to the digitized points, we'll now show how we can interactively edit and manipulate the points. There are various ways to interactively change the digitized points. One way is to simply drag a point around on the map and notice as we move the point around the values in the table below change in real time. If we were looking at the profile and we do the same operation, dragging the point around, notice how the profile changes to match the new location of the point. And that works if we choose, choose any point to change on the map like that. We can also change a point by simply editing the value of the longitude or latitude in the map in the table beneath the map. And we do that by double clicking one of the cells like this will change the last point. And let's say we want to change it from 71 degrees north to let's say 20 degrees south. So we do minus 21 and when we click out of that cell the point jump down to there instantly. And as before, the interpolated points and profile will reflect the new digitized segment. We can also reorder the digitized points simply by dragging the illuminated record up or down in the table. And we can do this for one or more points. For example, if we wish to change the second record and move it down here, we can keep moving it and the order of the digitized points is preserved, so sometimes we'll get some crossing segments as shown here. After we've changed the points by editing them, we can again save. We can save the table, or if we have the profile displayed, we can save the profile as well. If we want to add some extra points to this digitized segment, we can add the points onto the end of the profile by clicking Add to Segment. And you'll see when we selected that button over here, the cursor instantly was reactivated in digitization mode. And now we can do more points like this. 
And again, we finish the segment by double clicking. The new points have been added at the end of the table, and the profile reflects the new digitized segment. And we can keep on doing that. We can delete a segment completely simply by making sure it's illuminated and hitting the delete segment button. Like that. Yes. And we can digitize multiple segments. So let's start a new segment. So we'll start digitizing. We'll do one segment up here. Then we'll do another segment by restarting the digitizer. Like this. And we can do another one. We'll go up here. So now we have a number of segments that are available. And as we flip between the different segments, the numbers in the table below reflect that segment. If we were looking at the profile, then the profile changes accordingly as well. And let's say we want to delete these two segments, or that segment. We hit select it and hit delete segment. And we can get rid of the first one as well. OK. So in this manner, the digitizer tool allows the global elevation base map to be digitized. And uh, we can save the digitized points in ASCII format or as the profile like that. If you have any questions or comments about the digitizer tool, please send an email message to our email address, which is info at geomapapp.org. Thank you.